Western civilization, and I have studied it for a long time, is an amazing phenomenon in history. It is unique. No civilization in history ever, ever, ever was like this. It is the first time in history that the civilization has emerged like this. For example, it is the first civilization in history which has been able to acquire that power to dominate the whole world in such a way that the entire rest of the world combined cannot threaten its power. That never happened before in history. Where did they get that power from? They got it from an amazing scientific and technological revolution which is still unfolding. Many more amazing things to come that will dazzle you. And the emergence of this modern scientific and technological revolution cannot be explained from the analysis of historical phenomena. No, it is an absolutely unique event in human history. Modern Western civilization uses that unprecedented power to oppress. It is one of the greatest oppressors that history has ever seen. Modern Western civilization is also decadent to its very core. It is a civilization that is rotting at its very core. While yet, at its periphery, it glitters like gold. Modern Western civilization, which has this awesome and unprecedented power, which is oppressing mankind. Modern Western civilization, which is also decadent to its very core, also is a civilization with amazing powers of deception. Appearance and reality are always different from each other in all that pertains to this civilization. It is a civilization with a mission in the world. We used to hear it in the days of colonialism. This is called in international relations what jingoism. That we have a mission to civilize mankind. And uh, this mission took them not only to colonize the rest of the world, that's bad enough. But that didn't end the story. When they colonize a part of the world, they do not leave, they do not decolonize until and unless they have put in place institutions which will ensure that that society will continue to be ruled by them, by property. And in the process, they seek to transform the rest of mankind into carbon copies of themselves. This never happened before in history. If I do not seek to understand what's happening here, then I've got peanuts in my head. When will I wake up? When will I begin to think? When will the world have more to me than McDonald's hamburgers? What's happening here?
when they colonize a part of the world, they do not leave, they do not decolonize until and unless they have put in place institutions which will ensure that that society will continue to be ruled by them, by property. And in the process, they seek to transform the rest of mankind into carbon copies of themselves. This never happened before in history. If I do not seek to understand what's happening here, then I've got peanuts in my head. Because if you're a believer, you can never justify war. You can never justify war. You can never justify colonialism or neo-colonialism or imperialism. You can't justify that. And I'm going to tell you, Latin America and the School of the Americas and the United States role is only a small slice of the pie for what they do in Latin America is being done in Africa. And what is being done in Africa is being done in the Middle East. And what is being done in the Middle East is being done in Asia. So we're standing up for the dignity of the world and for the freedom of the world. And people of conscience need to stand up and speak with more power and speak with be more fervent and be vibrant in what you have to say and witness it in season and out of season no matter what the polls say no matter what who is in congress no matter who is in the white house speak and preach and teach and organize until justice prevails god bless you it is one of the greatest oppressors that history has ever seen